Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kazooie here, and welcome to episode 113 of Skin Into Glory. And now we're gonna start off by going into the first game of this episode, where we come up against a Liga Portuguesa team with a Brazilian defense, with also Sirigu in the goal, with also the, the pink version of Caresma. And he starts off getting a free kick, and look at that for a finish! A really, really nice goal from Caresma from a free kick. You've probably seen it plenty of times before as well actually me scoring a free kick with Karesma but this time it is actually my opponent scoring a nice goal with him as well so um, yeah we go 1-0 down then in 11th minute we got the first chance with Ribéry a terrible finish though don't really know why he went with the left foot finish but um, yeah an easy save for his goalkeeper then we move on in the 18th minute we got another chance with Ribéry we continue on with some skill moves David Luiz sort of blocked it off but we still managed to get through we took a shot and it actually went into the far corner a pretty pretty lucky finish you can see it from the replay a nice shot as well to uh, to bring us back into the game then in the 34th minute we got another chance this time with Cordrado with some great skill moves as well a lovely Elasco to beat David Luiz we tried to go for a near post finish the goalkeeper somehow kind of blocked it off not really a great save but then uh, we uh, we tap it in nonetheless to make it uh, to make it 2-1 actually in our favor and also pick up the final skill goal and I know in the previous episode I said that I don't really count rebound skill goals as actually skill goals but in my opinion this wasn't really like a rebound shot so therefore I'm, I'm just gonna call it as a skill goal but even though if you don't think it is a skill goal this one definitely is a fantastic finish from uh, from Ribéry to, uh, to make it 3-1 uh, pretty much extend the lead again in this game and actually score a really really nice goal so um, yeah we move on into the second half we pretty much continue on trying to score some more skill goals even though we uh, we completed all of them uh, you can see a nice shot there from Douglas Costa would have been a sweet goal as well but unfortunately the goalkeeper managed to save it then uh, towards the end of the game it is my opponent going through with Martinez uh, some nice bit of skill as well but this time it went over the crossbar and that is how the game ended so um, yeah in my opinion a really really fun game we're a little bit dominating uh, towards the end of the game uh, chances wise but uh, when it came to the goals I think we uh, we scored some pretty awesome goals and uh, the same goes for my opponent so uh, we go into the second game where we come up against a uh, Brazilian skill team with actually uh, four five star skillers in his squad also Neymar on the left hand side and it's him starting off with Elton cuts aside with the Ronaldo chop you can see I managed to sort of block it off with Thiago Silva but then he still managed to go through and he makes it 1-0 in, uh, in the early minutes of the game then a 12th minute a lovely sombrero flick uh, with the uh, Quadrado there unfortunately we do get fouled because we maybe could have gone uh, on a nice skill run from that but anyway we picked up a free kick and a look at that for a strike from Quadrado I told you guys before as well in the previous episode that his free kicks are pretty pretty good but this one seriously blew me away like how it went into the top corner I actually never never expected that it actually went in I thought I would just give it a shot and yeah just just an amazing goal in my opinion then uh, in the 18th minute, uh, lovely Rabona shot there from Ribéry. Unfortunately, it went over the crossbar. Tried to go for something fancy since uh, my opponent also pulled up some skill moves. In general, it was a really, really fun game. Here you can see me whipping a crossing. Tried to go for a, uh, for a bicycle kick with Quadrado, which we pulled off. But his goalkeeper ended up saving it. Then uh, in the 33rd minute, it is him actually on the ball. That would do uh, Douglas Costa. We managed to keep it in. Then he went for, I think, a shot with Neymar, which was pretty weird. Uh, he managed to get a bicycle kick in with Wellington Silva as well, which got blocked off. Then from the rebound, he got himself another shot in, but uh, that one went wide. Then uh, in the 45th minute, just before the first half was about to end, we get a shot with Douglas Costa, which gets saved. Then uh, we get some headers in. We uh, headed over to, uh, to Quadrado, who goes with a scissor kick. And this one actually went in. And you can see from the replay that it actually went through the goalkeeper's legs as well. So we got very, very lucky there. The most important thing is that we, of course, uh, complete that challenge, which I was really, really happy with. So, um, yeah, into the second half, we also created a couple more chances with Cordrado. Unfortunately, this one didn't go in. Uh, from a corner, though, we uh, we went to the nice sombrero flick, trying to head it in. Unfortunately, got cleared away. Then uh, we picked it up with Matias Fernandez uh, just outside the box. We went to the skill moves as well. We beat most of his defenders, and we do make it 3-1. And you maybe could say that we could call this as a sombrero flake goal, but in my opinion, it isn't really one, just because my opponent cleared away from that corner. But then a few minutes later, we got another attempt with the sombrero flake with Quadrado, a lovely volley, and this one went into the top corner to make it 4-1 and complete the final challenge, which I, of course, was really, really happy with, because the one we scored before, as I said, wasn't really like a proper sombrero flake goal, so I was kind of gutted about that one. But towards the end of the game, my opponent also just decided to play so, so weird. Just random slide tackles all over the place. And you can see as well that my opponent ended up actually rage quitting. And uh, you probably could have seen it from the stats. We're absolutely dominating. We had a lot of chances in, uh, in general and maybe could have scored a few more goals. But anyway, we move it to the skillers up. You can see right there we have five games left with Cordrado. But we actually managed to score 15 goals with him, which I never expected to be fair because... Like, 
Like I told you guys before that my my experience with Godrado, um, like before I obviously made this squad, wasn't really the best. I only got like 13 goals in like 55 matches or something, which isn't the greatest. But this time he just performed so, so well. And that's kind of the thing that usually happens when I try out the five-star skillers and just make separate squads around them. So, um, yeah, I'm glad Gadrado did very, very well in this squad. He scored some pretty sweet goals as well. And uh, overall, this team was uh, was definitely a team I would recommend to you guys. It is maybe a little bit expensive with all the informs. Uh, we also got like Inform Vidal, uh, Matias Fernandez, and also Matuidi. So, again, I would definitely recommend it if you are low on coins. I would uh, I would also suggest just trying it out, but then maybe get like the uh, the cheaper alternatives, maybe like the, the normal versions. But anyway, we move on back to the skillers up. You can see right there the next 5-star skiller is actually going to be my favorite 5 star skiller in the game that is Neymar and he's been one I've been looking forward to so and so much because as I said he is just my favorite five star skiller in this year's ultimate team he's seriously so so good I'm still yet to play with his team the season version since uh, I still don't have the coins to actually afford him I think he goes for above a million but um, yeah hopefully once we unlock him we are maybe able to uh, to get him as well would be pretty sweet to maybe link him up with like a future five star skiller that we still need to try out but um, yeah since Neymar is of course my favorite five star skiller I sort of already planned a squad uh, around him that I want to play with and it actually uh, includes a team of the year player that's actually going to be team of the year Messi so um, yeah that is something to look forward to I'm just letting you know because I don't really want to upset people when they made squads and link me on Twitter and say hey why don't you use my squad for example so um, yeah, as I said I've already sort of made a squad so don't waste your time creating a lot of squads for me I really really do appreciate it though but you can maybe like make a squad for a future 5 star skiller maybe Ronaldo or Kocha or even Pele since those are the ones that are actually left apart from uh, Neymar of course but anyway guys that is pretty much going to be the end of this video hope you enjoyed it if you did then make sure to leave a like would be very much appreciated and if you can hit 3000 likes that would be absolutely awesome so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later bye bye